Hello, today I will be reviewing Kellogg's Star Wars Breakfast Cereal. A new force at breakfast. Now the box has uh, Darth Vader and R2D2 on it and it's basically chocolate flavoured wheat, whole wheat and rice cereal shapes. So, let's see what it's like. Okay, so uh, there's only actually two shapes in here, a crescent moon and a star, which looks more like a starfish than a star. <laughs> I'm, I'm an idiot. That <laughs> anyway, this isn't Star Wars, this is just moons and stars, actually. That's no moon. It's a banana. Anyway, that joke had to be done at some point. Why is there no Star Wars shapes? I mean, yeah, stars in space. But... Yeah, the cat's tried to eat it. Does the cat like it? Anyway, yeah, I was expecting like Darth Vader, like why does it not have marshmallow R2 D2s? Anyway, uh It just tastes like any basic chocolatey cereal. Yeah, it's pretty average. Just it's not Star Wars. Why? You give a kid a bowl of this without showing them the box, they will not know that it's Star Wars. In fact, it would not surprise me if Kellogg's already had cereal made out of these crescent moons and stars. No Darth Vader shape, no R2, not even a lightsaber, or Death Star. How hard is it to be a Death Star? I mean, the sale's okay, but the Star Wars increases the price, so you just, just get Cocoa Pops. The Verdict Biscuit, it's, I mean, it's okay, it's just expensive what it is, so it just... Actually, it's not Star Wars. Yeah, it's got Star Wars written on, so it gets a one star. Now, if you want to listen to a decent food review, you can head to the channel Food Review UK, which I will link somewhere there or there. I don't know yet, but go check it out. There's lots of reviews and they're pretty awesome.